Hello there folks and welcome to the hospitality department. My name is Daniel Lord. I am the program leader for the SVQs in professional cookery that we deliver here. Today I'm going to speak a little bit about the courses that we offer and also I want to show you a real favourite dish of mine at the moment, my tandoori style chicken that we're going to char grill. And char grilling is a cookery process that we'll do here uh, if you did ever decide to come and do a course with us here at Orkney College. It's really in at the moment, it's really trendy and also it's a really healthy form of cookery. Uh, we're currently in what we know as the practice kitchen. Uh, this is where we've been teaching for the past sort of year uh, during the pandemic. We've not been able to have our restaurant open this year, but next year, once we get back uh, to full speed, we're hoping to get customers back in the restaurant. If you choose to come here or to college, we're always kitted out in our kitchens in our full chef lights, hat, hair net, chef's jacket, aprons, the full works. In addition to that, we do still have to adhere to some social distancing. So we will be wearing our face masks in the kitchen just to protect ourselves and to make everyone feel really safe. So the two courses I'm in charge of that you are just absolutely fantastic, which are gonna develop your skills as a chef is the SVQ level five and level six in professional cookery. The level five is based around you developing your skills to become an excellent commie chef. Then you're working up to your level six where you're building more complex cookery skills to be working towards a second or sous chef. If you want to find out more about the courses we offer, please just get in touch. Set up a phone call, a little video call, or even message via email. And feel free to message Orkney College through the Facebook page and we can get in touch with you that way. So right, so moving on to our tandoori style chicken. Uh, I do mine slightly differently, uh, but it is just, oh, it's absolutely delicious. I'm very much about huge, big flavors. As a chef, I love food to hit that mouth and to go, oh yes, that is what I want to taste. I want to taste those flavors. I want it to explode on the tongue. And this dish really does that for me. Uh, we are going to use a new product uh, that's come out here in Orkney and it is from the Orkney Dairy and it's their natural yogurt. Absolutely delicious, rich, creamy, wouldn't expect anything less from our fantastic milk that we get here in Orkney and we're going to use that as part of our marinade. So let's get the marinade sorted. You need to get a bowl, we're going to pop in there one teaspoon of mild chilli. Now, if you like spice and you like a kick, don't be afraid to go for hot chilli powder or you can even chuck in some fresh chillies. I like that deep flavour of the mild chilli powder and I'm a bit of a wimp. I don't like the fiery way of my tongue. Next, we're going to add teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of freshly ground coriander, one teaspoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of paprika. Now if you can get bright red paprika, that's the best one for this to get that lovely red colour. Next a teaspoon of ground cloves. Something else that's going to help to give it a little bit of kick is a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now we also need a tablespoon of ground cumin. We've got two and a half teaspoons of salt. And then we're moving on to two large tablespoons of fresh ginger. I absolutely love ginger. It's one of my favorite flavors. And then garlic two good tablespoons of garlic in there as well and I, I'll never be eaten by a vampire, I love garlic. Then also we're going to put the zest and juice of one lemon in there. 
Now, I quite like to add a little bit of sweetness. It's not traditional in a tandoori recipe, but I like to add about a tablespoon of honey, just because I like that kind of sticky caramel way that you'll get when you char grill, it really comes from the honey. Next, we're gonna add about 200 grams of our lovely natural yogurt. And it is so thick and creamy, it's just unbelievable. It's really good quality product. And it's quite new to us here. Next, we all know uh, going to eat out at the Indian, we have that really bright, vibrant red flavors that you'll see in tandoori cookery. This is totally up to you. A lot of people wouldn't like it, but I do love that bright red flavor. So I do add a little bit of red food coloring. If you can get natural red food coloring that doesn't contain so many E numbers, that's better. So we're gonna pop that in as well. After that, we're gonna add just a tablespoon of oil into our marinade. A little whisk, and we're just gonna get that beautifully mixed together. Like so. And there you can see our wonderful deep red marinade that's just gonna flavor up our chicken beautifully. Okay, it's good. So folks, we've got our marinade ready, and now we need to prepare our lovely bird. Fresh, fantastic Scottish chicken. Uh, beautiful. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna debone this bird so we can get the most out of it. So first off, take off the wing. Now we're gonna just debone the bird into small portions uh, so we can char grill it and get the most kind of out of it. First off, we're gonna take off the leg. So cutting through, down the chicken, down the side of the leg. Pop out the wee knuckle bone. Take your knife around the oyster of the chicken and then down the side. And there is our first leg removed. Our next leg. Chicken is my absolute favorite poultry to eat. Uh, Everyone who knows me knows that I love chicken and I can't get enough of it. So, come on there, come through that bone, that's fine. Grand. Second leg there ready. Next, I would like to try to keep as much bone on the carcass as possible. Take the knife down, then I'm just going to use the scissors cut for it and almost kind of spatch cock the chicken. If you wanted to spatch cock this chicken and marinate it whole spatch cocked, you could. That would be absolutely delicious and there'd be nothing wrong with it whatsoever. So that's just the backbone there. Next, what we're gonna do is push this chicken down and get that breastbone nice and flat. So you see, that's what we'd actually call a chicken crown and you could roast that crown. Taking our knife through the bare breastbone, we're just gonna cut this chicken in half. There we go. You might need just to push on your knife just to cut through that bone, but it will go through. And next, these breasts are far too large. Trim the chicken as we go with any excess skin. We're just going to cut through the breast. If you imagine this is the thicker end, this is the thinner end, we're going to take our knife, kind of a little higher on the thicker end to give us two equal pieces. So the knife will go through, we might just need to push down and it will cut through there nice and bonny. And you're looking to achieve eight good sized portions here. Now, 
separate the drags, uh, the drumsticks and the legs, you're just going to go through the knuckle joint there, attach the two, and the knife should go through nice and bonny, you hit that knuckle joint just right, voila! Trimming off any excess skin as you go, because not many people like too much skin on their chicken. Yeah, that one was better. Just missed it a little bit the last time. So, there's our eight pieces of chicken. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put in some nice little scores in there. That's just going to help with the cooking. Get that marinade going nicely into the flesh. Now, ideally, you'd want to marinate this chicken overnight. Okay, you want to let all those flavours really mature inside of the bird, all right, to really intensify those lovely, wonderful flavours. So, chicken in the bowl, don't be shy here, get it in and absolutely marinate that wonderful flavours deep inside that chicken. Now, we have added a little bit of food colouring, so that will dye the meat just, just a little. But it will be absolutely beautiful once it's all cooked. And there we have it. There is our chicken. We're going to cover that. We're going to store it in the fridge overnight. And then we're going to cook it on our wonderful char grill and get a few flames going at the same time. Right folks, so here we are, we've got our charred grill on, we're getting it really nice and hot. You can see it's actually starting to smoke. So this is where we're going to get that real lovely charry smoky flavours coming out of that chicken. So, safety first, we have an oven glove when we need it. We've got our tongs, we've got to place the chicken back to front, so we'll probably see a few flames. So, when char grilling the chicken, simply pop the chicken on the char grill and you want to put the skin side down first, so you serve it side down first. And we're going to put it on and you already see that smoke start to pour off that chicken. Now we're not going to fully cook the chicken on the char grill, but what we're doing is we're looking to go for that lovely dark lines and we will finish the chicken on in the oven. Take off some of the marinade because you can always add more onto the chicken before we pop it back into the oven. We don't want to waste any of those beautiful flavours. Now already we can smell that beautiful intense flavours. Absolutely delicious. Now something I do like to do is I do like to give a little squeeze of lemon, a little bit of freshness on there, just to help with a bit of flavour. And um, just a little bit naughty, I do love just to get a little bit of the good stuff on there. A little bit of uh, my favourite tip off just to help them be that flavour there. And we're starting to get that beautiful colour coming on the skin, getting that beautiful crispness. Are you ready? Know your chicken's ready to turn because it will release easily. If it's still stuck to the char grill, that tells you that it's not actually ready to be turned. It hasn't released itself from the griddle. So we're nearly there. And I 
I've already achieved, if you can see there, that lovely black char road lines, and that's exactly what you're looking for. And that's going to be okay. So we're going to cook this for another few minutes on this side, and then we're going to pop it into the oven, where we're going to roast it for roughly about 30 to 35 minutes, so about 180 degrees Celsius. We'll roast it up so it's still nice and juicy, but we want that skin beautiful and crisp. Alright, here we go folks. Here our chicken is ready to come off the char grill. Go on to our tray and get ready for that final little roast before we serve it. Pop that into the oven where we're going to roast it up for 35 minutes. Here we have our fantastic rationale oven. Uh, that chicken's going to go in, in there at 180 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 35 minutes. We'll get some good shots of it crisping it up and that beautiful marinade caramelizing there. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Can't wait for a taste. So here we go folks. Here is our beautiful tandoori style chicken. Now if you can see there our lovely marinade is going crisp. Our skin's crispy and it looks absolutely beautiful and nice and juicy. So I'm just gonna plate it up here with a nice ring of salad. You could do anything you want, really. It's entirely up to you. You don't even have to do this. You can put it on plates individually. But I do love getting food on the table and letting people get stuck in it. That's what I really enjoy. So, there is all of our fantastic pieces of chicken. I'm gonna finish that off with some nice wedges of lemon, just to help create that extra zinger flavour and just a few little bits there of julienne red pepper for garnish. I've also created a lovely fragranced rice which was so simple to make putting in bay leaf, cinnamon, uh, cardamom pods, a few bits of clove, a little bit of stock in there and finishing it off, taking some of the rice out, finishing the rest off with a little bit of turmeric to help give you that beautiful contrast and flavour. I would agree, I hope you agree that this looks absolutely delicious and I hope you'll try it at home. Just to tell you a little bit more about the courses, the two courses that I teach on, uh, our SVQ Level 5 Professional Cookery and the SVQ Level 6. If you want to find out more information, please don't be afraid to get in touch. These are practical based courses, so you're not going to be sitting down in the classroom, you are going to be in the kitchen and we're going to be cooking the majority of the time. Like when anything in life, there is a little bit of paperwork, but we use an online portfolio and gather evidence using our phones, taking pictures of the food we make, creating little videos of something that we've done, and we use all that evidence to show that you've got the skills and we develop those skills to make you into a fantastic chef here at Orkney College. So hopefully you'd like to come on a course and hopefully we'll see you in the future soon and we're gonna get stuck into this chicken. Thank you very much. I've been Daniel Lowe.